Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Lori. I'm a full-time reseller on Poshmark and on eBay. Today is a very special video because I am sharing with you some sales that I made over the weekend. And I'm also going to go through my own closet and pull some items to sell. And I'm gonna do that with you in real time. This is a, what I call a ship and shop video. So I do a little shipping and then we typically go shopping at a thrift store. Today, I'm thrifting in my own closet. What's extra cool about today's video is I had a sales goal in mind. I was about $500 short this month of matching June's sales, which were my highest sales to date this year. I got off to a very slow start this year. Sales were pretty slow January, February, March. I sent offers out for 40% off anything in my closet that had been there for 100 days or more through Posher VA. So you're gonna see what sold from that as well as what sold over the weekend. Then we're gonna go in my closet, pick out some stuff to sell, and then we are gonna end the video with sales that kept coming Coming in through the end of the day. Just be sure to stay tuned till the end of the video to see if I reach my goal and to see what sale just blew me away at the end of the day. It just came in about 10 minutes ago. So we're going to go back in time this morning. I hope you enjoy it. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my uploads. I usually do two videos a week. Let's jump back. I'm so excited. So I am filming on July 31st. Rocco's birthday was yesterday. We had a nice little family party. I'm gonna turn the lights on. Tina's gonna be here soon. I like to pull stuff before Tina gets here so that we can ship together. I have an incredible sale. I sold a pair of Laura Piano uh, loafers that are men's. Sorry, I'm still a little groggy. I haven't quite woken up yet. I paid less than $5 for these at Savers a while ago. And I have received at least six or seven offers for $100. But these are their summer walking shoes. They're summer loafers. And I had them listed at $269, which honestly is so much less than the average list price. And finally, I got an offer for $225, which I accepted. So I'm very excited those are heading out. I should also note that that was an eBay sale. This is also a sale from eBay. I sent out some offers to watchers. This is an Abercrombie & Fitch shirt that I just picked up last week in Boston. Um, it was new with tag. I paid five or six dollars for this and I listed it at $38. I sent offers out for 30 on eBay and it sold right away. I thought I had a good feeling about this because it's back to school time. And I figured uh, Abercrombie is a good back to school brand. I also just want to note that Jay changed the light bulbs down here. I felt so bad. It felt like a dungeon and it's so bright right now. So I'm very excited about that. Next up is a belt that I picked up at the bins. Uh, I love when they're right on top like this. This brand is Clifford and Wells, which I didn't look up the brand when I priced this and it got some attention right away. This lighting is so good. Made in Turkey. Um, I listed this for $30. Isn't it gorgeous? I sent out offers, I believe for $25 with discounted shipping and somebody accepted. This is great. My average cost of goods this day at the bins was like $1.30 or less. It was unbelievable. So love moving things from the bins with such a low cost of goods. Also from the bins that same day. Was this from the bins? No, I think this was Savers. I think I paid $2.99 for this at Savers. It's this fun fossil wallet. I decided to grab this because the price was right and it was a novelty print. I figure anything with like owls or ladybugs or any little cutesy thing like dogs, if it's that combined with a decent brand, and the comps are okay, I go for it. I listed this at $25, and I believe I sent out offers for $20 with discounted shipping. Did have this little mark right here that you can barely see. This was a really fast flip that sold for 20. Another sale from Goodwill. I picked up these Merrells, and um, I mentioned in my video for this haul that I don't always grab Merrells because I'm not very inspired by them, even though the comps could be really good. And I loved these. I bought two pairs of Merrells on this particular day. One pair cost $12. These cost just $4.50 because they were half off color. But look at them. They're like brand new. I listed them for $50, got a couple likes, and I sent out offers for $40 with discounted shipping. And they sold right away. Next up is a pair of pants that I bought 
um, at Goodwill in Boston. Not the one that I just went to, but um, one of my more recent trips. I think I came here when my mom was having surgery. Anyways, they're a pair of black silk Lafayette 148 pants. I think I'm going to have to dig a bit. They sold for $45. I have them listed at $65. And I went ahead and sent out a, kind of an aggressive offer right out of the gate for $45. Oh, no. These are M.M. Lafleur. I'm going to look for them. Okay, I found them. They're really beautiful. They're pull-on wide leg pants in a size 8. These probably retail for over $300. But Lafayette 148 is a really interesting uh, brand for me. This is a brand that I historically would send to the Real Real because they just wouldn't move fast for me. I listed them at $65. They are in gorgeous condition. It's really nice to see some career wear moving. Um, so $65. I received a like. I sent an offer out for $45 with discount shipping and it sold. I paid about $650 for these. Next up, I took basically $2 shy of a 50% off offer on these Levi's. I had purchased these at like a discount store. I think I paid like $10 or $12 uh, each. And they've just been sitting. I have them listed at $58. These dad jeans I have listed high. I have a lot of new with tags Levi's in this bin here. But these happen to be the mile high cropped wide leg. It's been a very long time. Um, and these sold for $30. And I had them listed at $58. And I'm just happy to see them move again back to school. Good time for denim. Um, also, as... I'm filming this. I just sent out offers on my Posher VA for 40% off anything that's been in my closet for 100 days or more. Typically, I exclude new with tag items from my sales, but I didn't today because, you know, we're in at 16, 1700 items. So I didn't exclude anything. So maybe we'll sell a few more. I kind of thought to myself, you know, if I'm willing to take almost 50% off on these jeans because they've been sitting for a while. I can certainly do 40% just to get some stuff moving. Um, so yeah, I was happy those sold because we still have a bin with some other stuff. Uh, the last item I believe is going to be over there. It's a short sleeve shirt for men's, for men. Uh, it's a Hurley button down. Let's see where it's at. This shirt, I believe I had listed at $25. I sent out 30% off with discounted shipping and accepted. And it's packaged up and ready to go. I love when that happens. All right, that's everything for right now. If I sell more as the day goes on, I will keep you posted because like I said, I'm sending out those 40% off offers. I want to make $500 today just to beat last month because June was my best, best month this year, which is not very typical. And July looks like it's number two. So I wanted to beat June. So I sent out some aggressive offers today and I'm also going to send offers to watchers on eBay and I'm going to try to hit that $500 mark before the end of July. We'll see. Bringing you guys back to my actual closet. It's a little embarrassing because it's a mess but it's also an illustration of <laughs> why things need to go. If you've been following me for a while, I think you were probably here when I Marie Kondoed my entire closet. It was liberating. That was April of 2020, 2020. <laughs> so it's been over three years, three and a half years almost. And it's just time to go through my stuff again. A lot of my items are thrifted these days. Um, I also have, this is where we have all of our luggage storage, my handbags, all those American Girl dolls, like there's just so much I need to get rid of, so much. So I started this little pile over here in anticipation for this day, <laughs> knowing that I was going to sell some stuff. These are two dresses I thought I was going to keep. Keep putting them on, taking them off, putting them on, taking them off. I'm not wearing them, so I'm going to sell them. Uh, this is Karen Kane. It's just a dress that I picked up. It's really cute. It is sleeveless. Sorry, the lighting is horrific. When I do these like home videos, the quality is not going to be great. This dress I might hold on to because this was new with tags and I really like this. I think I'm going to keep that one. Just haven't worn it yet. What is this? Oh, this is, these are overalls. All right, keeping those too. Oh my gosh, this is not going well. What are you? J. Crew jeans. 
All right, I think these are skinny jeans, yep, that I decided to let go of. I think they're the matchstick. These are universal thread. Um, these are a size 14. I'm selling these as well. They're a crop, and I found a pair of Levi's that I like better. So I'm selling these. Uh, how funny is this? This is a Hannah Anderson dress for little girls that's literally been hanging in my real closet. <laughs> I don't know how it ended up there, but I've had this literally for a year hanging in my closet. How sad is that? That is going to go. Um, what are you? These are dress pants. So slimming by Chico's. Oh, these I think I'm keeping. This is a really cute dress that I thought I might wear, but at the end of the day, I wear mostly black dresses. This is just Wild Fable, but it's very cute. The good thing about selling all my stuff is that I have larger sizes, so that's good. This is a Vineyard Vine shirt that I cut the neck for a long time ago, and I just never wear it, but it's like brand new. So those are easy stuff. That's like all low-lying fruit. Sorry, it's so yellow in here because of the, because of the lighting. All right, let's move over here. I have these Tory Burch uh, heels that I've had for so long. They're in great condition. I want to say I bought these at Nordstrom. I just don't wear them. I, I particularly don't really wear like a bone color. They're really lovely. Just never wear them. I thrifted these. I'm more likely to wear these because they are a closed toe and they're just a more fall color. So I'm going to hold on to these, but I am going to sell these Tory Burch. I've had them for a really long time. This closet back here was unfinished for years. This is where we stored all of our holiday presents. And then we opened it up. We opened this door right here. My cousin is um, a contractor. We opened this up. And I have like a bunch of thrifted things. I thrifted that light fixture for like $5 and chalk painted it. This is an old bureau that I refinished. I hand painted all of these boards and whitewashed them before they went in. That chest back there, that cedar chest is from my grandmother. I painted that. This is a really cute room, but as you can see, I'm like buried with clutter. So it's just time to go through. This was Angelina's. I don't know how this ended up in here. This is a Pottery Barn kids bag. Um, oh, what does that say? That's why I didn't sell it. It says Ange. That's why it's still here. Okay, I don't know what to do with that. All right, let's go over here. Some of these blouses I will buy and then just wear them for a video and then I never wear it again. Um, some, some things that I know I want to get rid of. This is really nice. This is cabbie. It's a great piece to wear under things, but it's a little tight on me and it's very sheer. So I haven't worn it in a really long time. I feel like the only reason I've held on to this is because I, I bought it from cabbie and I paid a lot of money when my friends used to have the cabbie parties, but the truth is I don't wear it. So it's time to sell it and let somebody else enjoy it. This I thrifted and I thought I would wear it and I just haven't. It's not bad. It's just a plain black shirt. It has this cute floral pattern in the back. Just never worn it. Is there a size or something on it? I don't know. We're going to sell this though also. Going through my own stuff is going to be something that I'm going to do more regularly. Oh, I meant to wear this on my birthday. See, this is what happens when you have so much excess this is just a J. Crew linen sweater with the crab. And I'm a cancer is my zodiac sign. I thrifted this, but I really like it. I'm going to keep that. Um, this is an H&M blouse that I thrifted. I do wear that. This is a little kimono style. I do wear that. Um, bought this Banana Republic top in Boston at the store and wore it to one of Jay's things. Oh, I love this Garnet Hill sweater. This is also thrifted going to keep that. This I really don't wear anymore. This is Daisy Fuentes, but I never wear it. The thing with some of these is that they're not going to get a lot of money either, but that's a really nice, um, like a rose pink, really pretty. I just don't wear it. Um, same with this. Some of these tops, I just feel like make me look older. These floral patterns. This is Lauren Conrad, extra large. 
definitely thrifted that. Oh gosh, this is such a staple. I have had this blouse for so many years and I've worn it to so many special occasions. I've worn this to holiday parties. It's like a champagne gold. Um, I love it. This I'm keeping, but it just came off the hanger. This cover up I wear, this one I really don't. Again, I have so much of these, I'm getting rid of that. Sorry, that sounds like Angie getting in the shower. This is an Abercrombie or Hollister cover up that I do wear. It's red, white, and blue. I tend to wear this every year on the 4th of July. This is Free People. I've worn this quite a few times, keeping that. Uh, this is Barefoot Dreams, that's not going anywhere. Is this another Lauren Conrad shirt? It is. Um, I guess I'll keep that one for now. More Barefoot Dreams. This uh, silk blouse I bought at a thrift store in New York City. Um, I paid like 50 bucks for it. It's actually a little big on me, but I love it. Um, I don't know. This is like a French brand. I could probably get some decent money for that, but there'll be several rounds of getting rid of stuff. It's a yellow top. This sheer kimono style I wear all the time. This I've worn a couple times. This Jay bought me in one of his trips to Japan. I don't wear it very often, but I'm not ready to let go of that. This I am going to get rid of. I don't wear this often. I believe it's just Target. Exhilaration. Yeah, I don't even know if I should list these things, but a lot of these things I would buy based on style. Um, and I don't know. I don't think any of these would be listed for more than $25, like the Daisy Fuentes and the Exhilaration, Lauren Conrad. I'm seeing very common things that I'm pulling. Kind of these floral blouses. This is Free People, and I already sold the matching. Here, let me just show you here. I sold the matching shorts for this, and I kind of just feel like I'm 50 now. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> not that you can't wear tie-dye when you're 50. I just, I think it's time to let go of this, and it's this really fun, um, almost looks like it's inside out, like terry cloth, and I think this will do well because... It's like a large or an extra large. I know there are stock photos. The shorts already sold. So I think that will do well. That's probably like the highest profit thing I've pulled so far. Yeah, Coldwater Creek. I ended up with so many of these styles. I do like this Lucky brand. Um, Carolina Bell. I've worn that a couple times. That one's pretty decent. This I don't wear. Um, and it's really pretty. And it's the colors. It's really pretty and it's the colors that I do like. Oh, and it's free people. Oh, great. I really don't wear this that much. It's just bell sleeves, kimono style. So I think that's good for today. Maybe I'll grab, um, let's look in my drawers. You guys, I just have so much. It's actually embarrassing, but it's just time to come through here. These I never wear. These are old navy. Never wear these. This is cashmere, I do like that. I think these are studio pants by Lululemon. Yeah, in a size 10. Just really don't wear these. Let's list them. Let's list them. I have some cropped studio pants that I wear more often. Yeah, I don't. I must have gone through this big camo phase. What are you? These are, these were always big. Wild Fable selling those and oh, I actually like these see now that's the benefit these are so old these are the gap but they are cargo style sweatpants that I really like so I'm gonna keep those okay what is this these are Victoria's Secret leggings very nice that I never wear um what's this oh Hoboken. I bought that when I visited Anthony. I'll probably keep that. Hey, Vendu. We love Vendu. Vendu and Grailed. These were both from events with those companies. Um, what's this? Old Navy. Mm. Fun Duncan shirt. I do love this one. This is um, feeling optimistic. I think I ordered this from j crew cheers that's cute but i can let it go i don't wear a lot of graphic tees best mom ever i can't get rid of that this little boston shirt my kids bought me this is from san francisco state university where i got my master's degree and um 
This is my paint shirt. I haven't painted in a while, but I can never let go of that. And what's in my top drawer here? Oh, I have handbags in here. I started to sort, like these are some of my Gucci pieces, some Louis over there. Um, I never wear these Calvin Klein bike shorts. I found other ones that I like. Okay. All right, here is the pile. That's the pile we're shipping out. This is the pile we're listing today. This is Lumpy. How are you doing this morning, handsome? Where's your chewy? Where's your chew toy? You're pretty quiet right now. All right, we're just getting ready for Tina. So I am going to go print some labels, Lumps. You wanna go print with me? I'm gonna go print some labels. We ordered these for Rocco for his birthday. He wanted these Stallone shirts from Rocky IV. They haven't come in yet. He's too funny. Come on, Lumpy. All right, Tina has arrived. Hello. Hello. And we sold a few more things because of the 40% off, and we are happy. So this is a Zach Posen sweater. 40% off, it sold for $51. That means I had it priced pretty high, but this is an expensive brand, and we are so happy it sold. And aren't we so happy when it has, when it's already wrapped? Yes, we are. <laughs> Makes it easier. We love that. This is a Vineyard Vines long sleeve t-shirt. I don't know if this is kids or just like an extra small. Anyways, it sold for $16. Um, all of my offers were sent with $5.95 shipping. And this is a Steve Madden bag that sold for $22. How cool. And this is a Barbie doll from the new movie that my mother-in-law bought Angelina when it first came out. Isn't this so cool? We love it. I can't guarantee that I won't sell this someday. No, I'm just, just joking, you Grammy. Absolutely. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Hi, everybody. Okay, so it's been a good day of sales. Um, I will show you some of the things that already have sold and it's 4.42. As I'm editing my video, I just posted on Instagram that I wanted to hit $5,000 in sales for the month of July, so to send any reasonable offer. So since that went up about 15 minutes ago, I've gotten two offers. So I just wanna grab everything to make sure I have them before I accept these offers. And we are going to keep pushing forward. So I think I'm at $780 right now. I'm sorry. $4,780. So I need to sell another 220 in order to meet my goal. And if I accept these two offers, I'll be another 120 and I'll be down to a hundred dollars. So this is one of those days where I'm like just focusing on my goals. I'm pretty excited that we might reach this. So uh, let's go downstairs and pull these before I accept the offers and then I'll accept. Do you want to come help me pull some sales? You look so sleepy and cozy. I'm going downstairs if you want to come down, okay? You want to follow me? You coming? I thought you would want to join me. Come on. First up for the first offer. I think it was $134. They offered $65. One of the items was this pair of aloe leggings. These are the goddess leggings with the two-toned blue and black. I've had these for a while, size small. So we're gonna grab those. And the other one is a spirit jersey from Disney. Should we find that? Oh, you are so mellow. You're, you're getting mellow in your old age, Lumpy. I appreciate that. All right, the spirit jersey should be in this bin. Had it for a couple months. All right, I did have this priced really high. I had this priced at $89, which that even surprises me. I must have found some crazy comp on this. And then I had the aloe leggings priced at 45. So they offered me $65, which was just shy of 50% off. I thought it was a little bit more, but super happy about that. Just accepted, and we're gonna move on to the next one, but I'm already nervous because it's another Disney bundle. Um, that's a potential buyer put together. But one of them was for a Paisley Mickey Mouse t-shirt and I'm not seeing it in my, um... oh my goodness, it's right here. It is right here. I'm so excited. When I put in Disney or Mickey, it wasn't popping up in um, my tote scan system. So I'm just gonna scan this tote and see what it's under, but yay. So I'm probably gonna, except the other offer too. It's for $70. This one's a little less than 
50% off, but we're moving lots of inventory. All of my Disney fans are out to play. <laughs> so you saw the first two Disney items and now this item too, which I have sold this before and I have two currently listed in my inventory. So the size small is what I got the offer on. This is part of the second bundle. Hello, handsome. And then they also are getting this Disney shirt, which was not in my inventory. Um, it wasn't tagged in there, um, but it was in there. So I'm very happy I found it. Now there's a Madewell shirt and a Farm Rio shirt also. All right, this I just pulled from my inventory. This is new with tag. I believe I got this um, at a warehouse sale. I think I paid seven or eight dollars for it. Anyways, it's Farm Rio and it's new with tag. The price tag is $130. So this person is getting a steal of a deal. She sent me a $70 offer. Um, so these three items so far and then one made well piece and we're good to go. Okay, so I think we left off with um, the couple bundle sales. One that was $65, one that was $70. A few more sales came in. I sold a Burton jacket for $30. That was a deeply discounted piece. Um, I sold a linen shirt that I had sent the $40 offer out on. Um, they countered with $22 because I think my offer was for $27 but I at one point had offered 22. I accepted that. I accepted a $15 offer on an Aritzia hat that I just bought. I accepted a half off offer, sold that for $15. And there was a little chunk in between that I sold um, that I didn't include because it was midday and Tina and I were working. At the end of this video, I'm going to share all of the sales that I sold just today. What I'm holding in my hand is what just blew my mind because here I am selling things for 40% off, taking 50% off, in some case 60% off offers. And I had these Louis Vuitton sunglasses that I purchased on Poshmark for $35. They have been in my death pile for the longest time. I finally listed them, listed them for $349. I received like a $250 offer right off the bat that I countered and I've been regretting it ever since. I'm sitting here tallying up. I was close to my $500 goal for the day and my $5,000 goal for the month of July. I wanna say I was like at 490 or something and I was keeping tabs on Instagram. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw the play by play. And all of a sudden I got a $300 offer on these Louis Vuitton sunglasses that I paid $35 for and I accepted. So right now I'm sitting at $773 in sales today and over $5,000, I'm guessing like $5,200 on the month, which I'm just so excited for because I know summer can be a slow time and I've really made an effort to take a lot of offers, to put out a lot of offers out there, to market on Instagram, on YouTube, everywhere I can and it paid off. So thank you so much to anybody who contributed to my sales. You hear Lumpy squawking in the background. I gotta go grab him. He's been such a good helper today. I wanted him to come in just for the ending here. So yes, so I made my goal and I was really aggressive with my sales. Also, I just wanna note that uh, Tina and I have been really focused on listing. Tina's been on my case <laughs> in a very good way. So we made 15 items go live on Saturday, we made 15 items go live on Sunday, and we made 15 items go live today. I've been sharing my closet. I've really been doing everything I can to make these sales. I also showed you a couple of sales that came through on eBay. More came through today, but I was really focusing on my Poshmark sales. If you really rally and really focus really good things can happen. So this was kind of a perfect storm today. Also, we've drafted all of the items that I showed you from my own closet and those should be listed in a few days. But thank you guys so much. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Okay, are you done? If you wanna see more from me in the future. So thank you guys so much. I love you and I'll be back soon in a new video. Bye. Are you eating my thank you stickers?